Good morning and welcome back to the Opportunistic Trader for 11, 28, 28 uh, two days before the mark end, I mean month end, the mark end. Uh, they've been marking, mark to myth, you mean. Right, mark to myth end. Right. The, the month end mark that they've been marking uh, basically for the last three days going straight uh, up. Exactly. We were down 70 handles for the month. We're now down seven. So uh, all has changed uh, over the weekend. Uh, what was interesting is they actually took the market down on a week that we should generally go up, and they took the market up in a week that we should generally go down. So they've pulled that. And, you know, it's funny. I was scouring the market, and yesterday we came in, and the euro was down 40 pips, you know, and today it's up 30 pips or whatever. Actually, it's uh, down – eight pips but the point being that no, nothing matters to the stock market uh if dollars up it's good if dollars down it's good if the bonds are up it's good if the bonds are down it's good if oil is down it's good if oil is up it's good and we're in that mantra now uh they don't have a lot of time left they have basically two days to marky mark mark the market to save themselves as they do every time um Stocks have bounced a bit off the low. Facebook is six off the low. Apple is now six off the low. Netflix is 20 off the low. Amazon is 120 off the low. So they've done what they've had to do. Um, but overall, markets don't look great. The DAX can't rally. DAX was down 75 yesterday. It's only up six. FTSE is actually lower. They had a decent rally in Asia about a percent across the board but uh you know again this is just a mark you know and it's it's amazing that they can keep pulling it month after month after month and literally it's 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 legitimately just a mark to save themselves for the next month so uh you know that's what we're seeing here on tap today the big news is jay I mean, Donald Trump, Jay Pal. <laughs> I think he's now, uh, you know, going to give in to everything Trump wants. He's going to be dovish, and uh, you know, the market is expecting that. Um, Trump has a way. Um, you know, I was reading. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry, Larry. I I've been like distracted uh, looking at other things. I it it has Pal said something dovish? Did I miss something? No, he will oh. say something dovish today. Oh, okay. All right. That's my yeah. call. Why, why Cause not? Because he, he's broken. <laughs> Trump has broken him like he's broken everyone else. And, you think uh, so? Yeah, I do. I, I think, do. okay, I don't, I'm not, I'll suspend saying I agree or disagree. I think the other alternative is, is he's learning to do Fed speak. Uh, talk whatever dovish. Act. Right. Whatever he's doing, he's doing. But the, the fact of the matter is, he's, you know, it's just ridiculous. Um, you know, Trump just goes out, goes crazy on him last night. The funny thing is when I, I left, they were saying on uh, CNBC, if he says anything again about Jay Powell, the market's finished. Well, the market's up 10 handles somehow. So I don't right. think it's finished. This stuff is stuff that you couldn't even make up in a movie. Like if you had a movie, you couldn't even put in this stuff. Trump continues to browbeat this guy on almost a daily basis saying yesterday calling him by his first name you know that he's buddies with him jay i shouldn't have put jay isn't doing the job i shouldn't have put him in he uh, can fire him at any time though right it's not like he has to do it through so. a committee again i don't think so i don't think so no uh, what i mean is legally I, can he I just don't think fire he legally can ask fire for the resignation him. no i don't think he can but i could be wrong on that i don't think he I think it's out of his realm but I could be wrong. Well, uh, le, well, he's not going to fire we, him. I'm not assuming that he's going to he be fired. I'm not, listen, but just, if, he, if he were able to fire him, the fact that he's not, he's just browbeating him, means he wants his scapegoat in place. That, that I think, is but uh, The market's uh, not even down. The market's up again on the year. The market's up. It's not down. Everybody's freaking out, and it's not down. I think cool. that he he's never firing this guy. Listen, he kept, he couldn't stand Jeff Sessions, and he kept him there for two years. Beat him up every day for two years, and then it fired. I know, him. I know, I know, I know. So, I know. Uh, yeah. Powell outlast Trump in my mind. Um, I don't. 
if you look at his rhetoric, Trump, when he was running for president, he said, Janet Yellen, I'm going to fire her right away. She's not raising rates. She's this, that. And now you got a guy raising rates slowly and he can't handle it. So that is the curse of Twitter. What you say stays out there. I remember those days. I remember those days blaming Obama for not raising rates. Too much money sloshing around out there. Right. You know, and Yellen stinks. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you so, know. So here we are, a couple of days from month end. The market is rigged uh, to the buy side. It, it's funny. It doesn't feel – it's up 10 handles again after being up big yesterday. But it just doesn't feel – it just doesn't feel right. It just doesn't feel right. I think there's probably more to, more to come. Um, you know, Apple is bouncing off the low, but I'm very negative on Apple. My phone, literally, I got iPhone 10 Max because my iPhone 7 broke. And now my iPhone 10 Max is broken to the point where I can't even, like, turn it on. And then we looked it up online, and everybody's having problems with the screen. Oh, yeah. And, Oh, whatever. Yeah. So I'm 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 very I'm actually going to sell Apple and then go to the Apple store today cuz I'm I'm going to get rid of all my phones and get one of those flip phones with the really big numbers for like old people I like because that. I haven't seen that. I'm get I'm I'm getting one. I have to get one of those just just for phone calls. Um uh, I let my computer be my phone these days. <laughs> On, on, on a trading note, since everybody is all jacked up for Pal, even though it's going to be a non-event and dovish because Trump has corralled him, uh, the straddle is trading under $15 on the bid side, which is the lowest that I've seen it in a long time. So they're not expecting much here off of this. The market is bid to the sky. Like I said before, these foreign markets are terrible today. Uh, the DAX is actually trading unchanged to the tick, and the FTSE is down. I don't know why we're up so much, but I guess it's month end. So they don't mark any other market. They're only marking us. You know, DAX is down 13 for the year. We're up. So I think that's the trade of next year is being long international markets, more Asia-related and short the U.S. That's going to be the trade of the year next year. Giving it to you right here today. Uh, that's my thought. Uh, this has just been going on too long. I, I, I don't know. But going to the uh, G20, is Trump going to make a deal with every country? He's going to come out with a deal with uh, Europe on cars. He's going to come out with a deal with China, full deal, signed and delivered on Saturday night over, uh, over dinner. Is that what we're expecting? Uh, uh, I, I'm scared to have an opinion. Uh, I think, <laughs> Why? Uh, the, word is, the word is framework. Don't be I'm afraid, Vince. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Go, <laughs> come to the light or come to the dark, whatever. I think we're going to have a framework. We need to have a frame. We need to have a word. And the word is framework. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. If it doesn't happen, I'll say I'm wrong. But, you know, it's, there's going to be a framework. Look, look at the rhetoric that's coming out now. We're trying real hard. It's going to be a framework. We had a lovely dinner. It was great. It was really good. He's going to call and, him his bestie, his best friend. Yeah. He's yeah. my – I know him so well. I've had three dinners with the guy in my life. I know him well, so that's well. That's where it goes back to the Macron thing. They literally had hands on each other's thigh and saying things are going great. Then, you know, literally 30 minutes later, they were talking horribly about each other on Twitter. And, you know, you could expect they'll definitely walk away saying that there's progress. Definitely they'll walk oh, away no, both He's going to basically progress. say China cave. They gave him everything. You know, they're going to pay him trillions. And I win again. So that's, that's the mantra. Markets bid. It's up 11. NASDAQ's up 39. And uh, there's no seller. I don't know where the seller went that was there on Friday panicking. 70 handles lower, but he's left. He or she has left the building and, uh, you know, markets. But looking at the stocks, they've bounced, but they're all crap. Um, they, they're not, you know, they're not near, near levels that are high levels. And, you know, peeking over it, oil, oil feels like it's an inch away from dropping a dollar really, really quickly. So it's down 52 cents. 
We saw that yesterday. Oil was a crazy trade. I don't know if you were focused on it at all yesterday, Vince. But it was up, then it dropped to dollar sixty, then it rallied to positive on the day, then it dropped again. The low was fifty thirty, and then we closed basically a dollar and uh dollar and change from there. A dollar twenty from there, uh, and traded higher. So that's been a great trade, great mover. The S and P is just garbage. Um, volatility has been sucked out. We're down to eighteen vol. If the market holds up today, they'll probably have it down to fifteen vol. I don't know what's going on in vol land. Uh, I we gotta we gotta get a vol trader on here. Somebody that really focuses on trading, you know, VIX and VIX products because. Every time the market has just a little bit of a move, they annihilate the vi volatility. And the volatility, even on the down moves, never goes anywhere near where it was on the first move. Like the first move down to 2,700, we were at 29 VIX. The second move to 2,600, 26, oh, whatever, we only got to 26 vol. And then the next move down to 2,630, we only got to 20 vol. So... It's interesting, uh, you know, to watch that. And I guess the big news today is uh, is waiting on Pal. I'm getting texts on my phone. I can't I can't open my phone, <laughs> but um, I'm getting texts on my phone. It's so annoying. But uh, anyway, that'll occupy my day up till uh, till Pal at twelve because I'm sure I'll be stuck in that store for hours. Um, and, uh, you know, that's it. Vol volatility is down. Straddle is cheap. Market is bid. They want to own them. I don't know why. And uh, my thought, and I'm going out on the limb, is that Powell caves to Trump, kisses his you-know-what, and basically says that uh, they're going to go to a neutral stance uh, and they're done raising. I, I think he got signaled that yesterday by your boy, Richard, what is he, Richard Carlita, uh, said that they're, you know, they're basically done for the most part, or they're relaxed. Yeah, well, that's what, that's what he says. <laughs> Vince, there's no I want to spend the whole thing talking about the Fed again. That's what he says. But that's that's and really the, the news next of person the day. says, uh, the only we need next... to move towards normal. I mean, the... I have the quotes. It's just ridiculous. It doesn't matter. That was last time. This time he's going to say that they've raised the number. No, 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 no. I, I'm, cr no. I'm not talking about the thing we talked about yesterday. I'm talking about later in the day. I kept saying Williams. It's Evans, right? I got, I got my, I got my Fed people wrong. Clarita said, uh, "What did you say?" Clarita said, "We're." Clarita basically said, "We're almost done. We're almost at neutral, right?" Yeah. Okay, and then Evans said, um, uh, "We have to." Uh, it, it, he didn't say we're not near neutral. He didn't say we were near neutral, but. His phrase implied we weren't near neutral. We must get to neutral. Uh, I, and, and to me, that's like, well, it, it was, it was, it was uh, insincere. It, it negated what, what uh, Clarita said earlier. I, I have to find the phrase. But anyway, if I find it, I'll, I'll throw it in there. But, but Vince, it's funny. The last time that uh, Pal spoke, he was basically jamming on the gas and – you know, said that they're going to keep going and going and going. And now he's coming out today and he's going to tell you he's stopping. I'm telling you that Trump, he, he's unbelievable. Trump is actually, I got to tell you, he is, he's a bully. <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll rip him. If the stock market sells off today, he will be on Twitter saying the reason the market sold off is because of this guy. That's how he is. He actually said yesterday that the reason that GM is shutting the plants, which is really uh, a Trump negative because he promised no plants or no companies would be shutting, things like that. But he said it's because of the Fed, which, I mean, everybody basically laughed at that that's the direct correlation that, uh, you know, that that's what they're going with. Right. Yeah, he's, he's a bully. He's basically what every politician has done for the last 40 years with no nuance. He's just, you know, he's just all about just saying it and, and people love him for it. Um, uh, but we get what we deserve, I guess. Yeah, I guess I, you know, being a bully is not a positive quality. Oh no, I'm not a fan of bullies. 
So anyway, um, other than that, there's not much uh, to talk about uh, other than the Fed, you know, palace today, 12 o'clock. Don't expect fireworks off it, but it, I think, he, you know, he's going to give in to Trump as everybody does, and uh, he will not be hawkish in any way, and he'll probably be changing his tune as fast as he can. Uh, you know, I wanted to give one update on a market that we, you know, the energy market. So two things. One, uh, we Phil Flynn coming on at 10 o'clock. Uh, we have the DOE figures at uh, 1030. But I was speaking with Mark Fisher this morning, and he's going to be joining us on Friday. But Mark was uh, bullish nat gas. He still likes it higher, and we are up 15 cents right now. Uh, but he's bullish nat gas, and I asked him about crude, and he thinks that uh, there still could be some downside. Uh, and that's saying that he did go on CNBC. The what other do you day. mean? It's he already on... five dollars lower <laughs> than when he went on CNBC. Don't be touting that. $10, okay. Uh, the next ten dollars is higher is what he said on CNBC. But well, he said he's short got term. only about four eighty to go. Okay. <laughs> well, he, so. he said short term he could see it going a little bit lower, but does like nat gas higher. But he'll be joining us Friday to talk more about that. He's been all over the nat gas stuff. Um, and also just following up on more stuff with today. So we have Phil coming up at 10. We have Alan Hill coming up at 1030 to talk uh, all things Brexit and all things FX. Uh, we were supposed to have Dave Floyd on uh, to talk technical analysis, but he just canceled, as a matter of fact. So that will be a scratch for today. Uh, then 12 o'clock, we've got uh, part two, Tom McEntee, Vince Lancey. That's going to be really They're coming good. back on today? Back in action. Get out noon. of town. I love that. Yeah, this is, um, you know, I mean, you know, it's, we like to talk about options. Uh, yes. You know, it's fun. Uh, <laughs> hey, Vince, though, but question, I know you probably covered this in the gold fix. You mentioned gold does not like the teens. Uh, we're right now trading 12, 13, 80. The dollar's been stronger. I know you were equating a fair amount of that uh, gold move yesterday to dollar strength. Right. Um, now, you know, a few months ago, we traded really weak in gold. It was very offered. More and recently, the, though, you can almost say we're trading OK because the dollar is basically at the high of the year. Gold is 50 bucks off the low of the year. And we're holding this 1200 level pretty well. Where are we? Yeah, I know. That's that's a good point. You know, uh, even with yesterday's sell off, gold is relatively strong based on where the dollar was last time when gold was making the lows. And Larry called the lows. I'm tired of saying that because I'm supposed to know that stuff, not him. Nah, but um, to answer your luck. question more directly, um, I think I think there are several factors that could be influencing why gold isn't lower, considering where the dollar is. Uh, one is uh, there aren't many longs left in the market on the spec side. Uh, there's no one to stop out. So now you're depending, I think, on stopping people in. Now that's my opinion. This is my opinion, but it's based on experience. The second thing is, um, although I don't want to put too much emphasis on it, uh, the uh, I don't want to call it a flight to safety, but but I think you're seeing a creeping concept of uh, whenever there's pro a creeping concept as opposed to like a big spike from Brexit before. Problems in Europe uh, uh, are, are causing people to buy dollars hand over fist. But at the same time, uh, they're probably buying just a little bit of gold to hedge their dollar risk. And, and, and that's also because Eastern European countries uh, that are in between Russia and China on the right, and then on the left, uh, you know, Europe are are you know like uh, like Hungary and and Poland are starting to buy gold as well. Now, now that those are all like you know uh, uh, conjecture. The other thing that I that, that I think is 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 a big deal um, uh, is the fact that gold is um, if you want to look at it this way, gold should be a lot lower. And it's just not being efficient based on where the dollar is. Uh, so that's one reason to just be short gold. Uh, the other way to look at it is gold is more and more, uh, I'm not saying it's being bought or accumulated or giving you some home run, you know, it's going up thing. Gold is more and more tied to the yuan and less and less tied to the, uh, to the, to the dollar, to the DX. It's more and more tied to uh, the dollar yuan uh, uh, pairing uh, as opposed to the DX, which as you taught me was, is 40 or 60% euro? Is that what the DX is? Uh, it's uh, like 60%. Yeah, 56%. Yeah, that's, that's, you know, that's, that doesn't reflect uh, the real market. But, but to, to answer your question uh, in simple terms, um, uh, uh, gold should be 
gold should be lower based on where the dollar and the yuan are right now. So even even with my my yuan peg concept, gold should be lower, and it's not. So uh, as an active trader, you ask yourself. Everyone asks themselves, as an active trader, well, well, if gold should be lower and it's not, should I be buying it or should I be selling it? You know, is is it the best performing house uh, on the worst block or the worst performing house on the best block? And 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 my answer to that is. Uh, Trade active and short term. Don't take uh, long term plays. Uh, we could be getting a little bit of a prop right now, finally, because allocations are starting to come in for next year, and and banks and firms are positioning themselves before they make the allocations. That could be one of the reasons that it's held up. Uh, I still think it's going down, but I'm not betting that. That was a lot to say. I hope it made sense. That's uh, some good info. Um, so just looking at the markets here, pre-DOE, we've got oil at 5107. That's the Jan crude. On an uptick, just traded down. On an uptick. Uh, so w that equates to really uh, only about a percent off the lows of the year. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see the data. Interesting to speak to Phil, uh, get Tracy's thoughts as well on that. Uh, we'll see if she can maybe jump on uh, last minute, just give some quick thoughts. Uh, I know she's been typing in the chat room. Uh, dollar really flat uh, before uh, Powell's comments today. People are really uh, expecting this to be more important than the minutes tomorrow because the minutes go back, you know, 30 or 40 days, whereas uh, Powell gets to speak, when, you know, live after just hearing uh, the Trump, uh, you know, Twitter rants. Uh, I just want to let you know the straddle is now $14. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I think that also goes to, look, the equity market itself has month end, but it's, G you know, we have Powell's uh, something, you know, if he were hawkish, that would probably be a negative for the markets. Um, I don't think he's going to be hawkish, but I, I he's going to be so be dovish. dovish. He's no. going to be like a floating. I don't think dove. he's going to be cowing. To, I don't think he's going to be kowtowing to the president. But who knows? You but don't. That's that's, I that's uh, coming up later today. Be. But that, but other than that, though, the main event is. But then why is the straddle? The straddle is fifty for money. Why is it fourteen dollars? You could both be right about Powell. Okay. He could just be very muted. He could just be a muted. We're not expect G twenty is the most important thing. I'm not that's right. But that's why the strategy. It was a nice dinner. We had creme brulee, not as good as uh, uh, Mar-a-Lago, but it was good, and we worked out the framework of a deal. I don't know. They've <laughs> done that three, two other times, and nothing has happened. No, so. no, no, they haven't. They haven't. Um, one thing about uh, 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 it's it, it, it's something that that I saw yesterday. The administration. This is about Powell. OK, uh, or this is about pressure that Powell's going to start feeling not from the president, indirect pressure. The administration is now going around to bond dealers and investors. So that means banks and hedge funds that have a lot of money in bonds and saying, what would you rather? And this is this is this is, you know, straight up uh, uh, fact. What would you rather? Would you rather us? Uh, reduce the offload of, of bonds on the balance sheet, or would you rather us uh, stop raising interest rates? Now, uh, the administration is throwing red herrings out there and pulling that, and that's going to come back to palace pressure. Basically, it's do you want us to stop selling bonds, which is what we're doing, uh, or do you want us to, um, or do you want us to uh, stop raising rates? Both answers, whatever they are. Uh, come back to Pal as uh, uh, we 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 want uh, the dollar to weaken. Uh, so uh, the 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 I think the pressure behind the scenes is going to start growing from bond dealers that are going to start front running the end of QT. Just if you're looking at for a bias on that, I'm actually interested in uh in in, in trade you know, ideas. The for, other for thing this. that I'm looking at here, Apple is uh, one seventy six fifty here. That's uh, far way away from, you know, those levels that we saw when, you know, supposedly Trump's going to tariff them 10 percent, you know, things like that. So that's had a nice rebound. Uh, Amazon's over one hundred and fifty dollars off the low. Uh, Microsoft's been trading well. So as of right now, you know, the S&P is up 12. Nasdaq's up 42. VIX is uh, 1860. But and all VIX equities that the... I'm looking at are green. You well, know, the VIX is too, the but... story. Really. And the, the fact is, if you add up the days to the year, there's probably not even 20 trading days that are real to the yeah. year. So if they have them up a half a percent every day for the next 20 trading days, they'll have a good year. So that's the plan. That's what they're planning. The mark job, the marky mark committee is in. All the negatives that you've been hearing for the last two or three weeks are now off the board. It's all bull all the time. So 
I would, uh, you know, definitely look to, you know, buy every dip and get long. I'm only being sarcastic because uh, that's uh, what they do. Um, it's funny. I met I met a guy yesterday who's a very good trader, and uh, he was going to have a guy give me a ring because he basically said the guy was going to lose all his money if he kept trading himself. But his strategy in Apple is to never sell and just keep buying. So every $3 down, he buys more Apple. He never sells. If Apple went to 130 he wouldn't make a sale. He'd be broke. You, you, mean like, you mean like my employer, the Swiss National Bank? I'm just saying he literally does not sell, no matter what. They never sell. So it's rewarding. It's worked. The amateurs have uh, done very well doing it, and it's working again now. Volatility is crushed. It's actually upsetting in the sense that it just takes trading away. And I don't know. It's funny. Yesterday we were saying the market was up a lot, and there was no reason. Even CNBC, who comes up with reasons for everything, you know, they'll they'll say the market's up with because of this, and then you'll look up at the markets down. They couldn't even come up with a reason yesterday. There's no reason. So the reason is, I'll give it to you, it's a mark for the end of the month. They have them in range to get them close to unchanged. They're very, very happy about that. Um, Powell will be, my call is Powell will be dovish today. He'll actually probably say he's done after this one. Um, he can't handle the heat from Trump. So, I think <laughs> he, oh my God, Larry, are you the guy is going to cry and ask for milk and cookies? Right. By he's going to go on TV and say, "Guys, today. I can't take it." The president, no, is right. he's not going to say that. He's going to basically say what this guy said yesterday. If I do read, think, though, he will be data dependent. I think that the the, the tone is going to change from being data dependent. They're going to hike and say that. I mean, so what? I mean, they they should always be data dependent. I got to buy the teeny, and I'm going to say he's just going to get sick and not show up today. There you no, go. He's not. I'm blowing the zero delta he, call, he, so he doesn't even show up. He doesn't want just the, to avoid it. I'm just letting you know he doesn't want the heat. He doesn't need it. He doesn't want it. You know, and he's going to kowtow to the president. That's my call. He may kowtow. Look, he, he's going to back. Can we just be? Can we? Can we compromise here? Sure. He's not going to be as aggressive as he has been. Right. He's uh, backing it up because and Trump that, has and that opened will his be, mouth. Uh, uh, it will be seen as a deference to Trump. Trump will call out a victory. But the reality is he's not going to come out dovish. Uh, and he's going to let the market I wouldn't rally. say he's going to be. Rallies, he I'm to do not going to say he's going to be dovish, but I'm going to tell you that he is not. Okay. The dot plot. Let, let's talk serious okay the dot plot Let's, has five increases for next year five okay that's too many the right, dot right. plot go pull it up the dot plot has five increases they're saying three yeah go right. look at the dot plot you're laughing pull it up i got a text yesterday the dot plot has five i'm not so laughing i'm, I'm very familiar with the abuse of the dot pull plot up the dot plot the dot plot has five rate rises Okay, four to five. They just backed it off to three off his last call, and then now he's down to two. And then by today, he'll be down to one. Okay, there. Dot plot has four. Okay? Hold on, hold on. I'm Sunil, you the dot plot before, before, we, before we get into the dot to plot. Five. Okay? No, Mike's but, laughing, but it says right there, dot plot no, has four. Don't get me started on the dot plot, but I'm with you on, on Whatever, your... Whatever, what I'm saying to you is the dot plot has four to five, okay? We, and wait, they the just... Dot plot is, listen. They don't even pay attention listen, to the dot plot listen, anymore, but they I'm still put saying, it out. I'm not saying they do. The dot plot had five, then they just updated to four, and now they're taking it down to three, okay? And he's he's got, the, you know, about... I don't know. Oh, I see. I, I would say a month and a half ago, they had one rate rise per quarter for next right. year. Okay. Now they're right. down to three and they're pricing between two and three now. I'm watching, I'm, I'm watching okay. what it's saying. Okay. And, and they had four to five. Originally, they had five coming into the year for next year. They reduced it to four. Now they're at three. By the end of this lunch, they'll be at one. I'm just telling you, it's, right, it's so, unbelievable. So, so the analogy is, and, and, and I think I really get 
what you're saying here. Put it the up, analogy Mike. is like an analyst who lowers his expectations on price uh, after the market or he tells him th that he should be doing that. So the dot plot is like a, a lagging indicator that they're that they're coming that they're yeah, that whatever they're plot is on work. everybody's screen right now. Okay. So exactly. so basically they have all these rate rises in the future of which pretty much none of them are ever going to be done. Okay? Because now he's taken heat and listen, even even for December, what's do we have fed funds for December? I'll bet you it's under 75%. It was 95% going a couple of weeks ago. I'm telling you, it's all because he's putting heat on the Fed. And, right. Uh, you know, no, it, that, that's true. The indirect heat is there too. You know. um, can I just in, in, interject what Sunil said, which I think is actually uh, the, uh, 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 might, be the, might be the quote uh, that, that's, that's in the money by the end of the day. Um, what if Pal says, quote, you know, paraphrase, uh, the Fed will keep all options on the table. That's like a dovish statement coming from Powell. And it also, uh, uh, he doesn't listen, I'm verbally. Being, listen, I'm being facetious. I'm just telling you what I'm Sunil just saying, said. I'm just, no, I, and I, and I, I respect, blame Sunil. And I, re and I respect Sunil, okay? And, I, and he could be right. And I, I, I think, to, to be quite frank, I don't think he's really going to get much into it out of this speech, okay? But, Which is why a statement like what, that I think is kind of cool. But what's interesting is how the mantra has changed because literally Trump got involved. If Trump never made a word or said a word, there'd be a 100% chance of an interest rate rise in December. 100, okay? And then there probably was probably another three to maybe four next year. All those bets are off the table, especially... If the market starts to sell off, um, then, you know, the last thing Powell wants to do before, you know, he either leaves or gets fired is be the cause for a stock market collapse. OK, so that he put listen, he put the onus on this guy. And the fact is that, um, you know, he, you know, he basically um, he basically made it impossible for this guy to do his job, in my mind. But anyway, you know, on, on a closing note. Um, well, how about, a couple stock, how about a couple stock picks? Uh, things, that you trade, things that you traded yesterday and, and just uh, if you want to well, give us a rundown. I only had a couple of trades yesterday, and it was just in broad-based uh, S&P. Um, we did have the low in Apple. We got stopped out on the low. Um, but overall... Um, Nah, you know, I don't really have. A, I think to today, I think today is a fade. But uh, again, it's very light volume. Yesterday was tremendously light volume. They brought the market up on like a million two e minis, and the day before the same. So the market started the week in uh, the thirty handle, and now we're in the. You know, we're up sixty five handles for the week, which is over two percent, and it's two days old. So. I guess uh, we'll wait on Pal today. I think that the Fed, you know, is caught in 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 a conundrum. We'll say they're definitely feeling the pressure. I'll give well, you that. Only because they're going to be blamed for everything. <laughs> Let me ask you this: Do you you know do you want to be blamed? He doesn't want to be blamed for a stock market crash and the president. You know, every time the stock market has a down day, he's going to name the guy's name. It's Pal's fault. <laughs> Like Mike said, they, you know, they're blaming, he's blaming the GM layoffs <laughs> on interest rate rises. I mean, the guy is off base. But uh, anyway, um, straddle's cheap. Market doesn't uh, really look like it's going to move much. And uh, we're going to be quiet till lunch. They, uh, they like Apple here for now. They like Facebook. Uh, Netflix, they like the Fang, so they've been buying the Fang, and uh, we'll see if it holds after the opening, and uh, we'll be back to you uh, after the opening.